gentlemen, another pay-per-view. Some more predictions. This time, it's Battleground. Yeah, so let's just hop right in there. I'm so excited for SummerSlam. <sighs> With the pre-show match. Again. Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. Yeah. The rematch. Because things need to happen. Ty Dillinger. I'm going Aiden English. I think they're, I think they're going to 50-50 this one. Ah, 50-50 booking. Yeah. I, I just think it's going to be, let's keep Ty Dillinger on the thing and make him... People that... like yelling 10. <laughs> Yay. He but wins. we can't do anything else with Ty, apparently. Yeah. Uh, let's just throw in a little extra thing. It's not an announced match, but what about Brizongo versus yeah. Mystery Opponent? Yeah, because essentially we're going to get the payoff of who's been destroying the Fashion Police office. Uh, you know, it's... It's going to happen at Battleground, apparently, even though we thought it happened at Money in the Bank, but it really wasn't. It was just the Ascension being like, hey, we won it on a pay-per-view. Uh, Fair game, Ascension. I'm going to be really upset if it's just the Ascension again. <laughs> um, but, no, it's going to be surf dudes with attitude. Oh, Jesus. I don't know who... It's, it's going to be the newest tag team on the SmackDown roster. Text Ferguson and chat. Too bad. I'm okay with that. Oh man, if they if they just like faded out the club on Raw. No, I think they need the club needs to stay on Raw and they go to and SmackDown just be, as Tex oh, Ferguson please, and Chad Too Bad. Please make that. By the way, I know you're gonna get really excited when I tell you this, but uh season two of No Way. Uh what is it called? Uh Southpaw, Southpaw Regional Wrestling yeah. has, has been greenlit and they are filming it now. Fuck yeah. I'm so excited. I'll be real. If it's the club in any fame or fashion, that'll be great. Um, I don't know I don't know who it's going to be, though. It's the Broken Hardies. No, nah, it's the Headbangers. The Squad. No. <laughs> Spirit Squad. No, nah, I'm... I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the headbangers. I think I think the headbangers are coming back to smack. You want another one off? Yeah. All right. Well, if you're going headbangers, I'm going the Godwins. <laughs> okay. Are they still alive? Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. They're not that. They're like the same age as the headbangers. Yeah, but they haven't been on TV in the last ten years. Yeah. Well, headbangers had once. <laughs> Maybe twice. Twice. Uh, so yeah, uh, if it comes down to Brizongo versus Mystery Opponents. Yeah, it's gonna be the Mystery Opponents. Absolutely, so we, uh, pay off there is potentially bad, or good. <laughs> um, okay, Shinsuke versus Baron Corbin. Uh, I'm definitely going Shinsuke, because I feel like Baron Corbin has literally had the best of Shinsuke at every single turn. Yeah, I'm going Shinsuke too. Though this is the one that I was the most on the ropes about because it's like, okay, Shinsuke, they're trying to play off that he's a huge guy, huge name, but how how much of the momentum are they going to let the money in the bank briefcase holder lose? That's the thing is uh, that, that's why I feel like the whoever wins money in the bank doesn't have to win much at all because they have that guaranteed shot that can just change everything. Yeah. And so that's that's another reason why I'm going for Shinsuke because yeah. a loss against Shinsuke is not like, oh my god, I can't believe Baron Corbin lost the match. It's Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, unfortunately now the way the WWE pushes anything that they can brand. Good point. The money in the bank briefcase holder is going to be like <laughs> mentioned at every fucking turn. Yeah. You know, and apparently fact, briefcase is now an outlaw outlaw word. Yeah, it's the money in the bank contract. Yeah, and it's just Mister Money in the Bank or yeah. Miss Money in the Bank. They can't say briefcase anymore. Yeah. Uh, okay, Sami Zayn versus Mike Kanellis the rematch. I'm gonna go fifty fifty on this one again. I'm gonna go Sami Zayn. I'm saying Mike Kanellis is gonna win. Do you think uh, similar tactics to SmackDown? No, I think this one is going to be a little bit more fully favored in the Canellis corner. Okay. Because I feel like maybe one of the reasons why we're getting the rematch so quick 
is that WWE is like, oh, well, the match wasn't bad, but I feel like we might not have, it might not have been booked in a way to be conducive of getting Mike Kanellis over in his debut match. All right. Because it was like, oh, here, here's the debut of a new guy who is obviously, it's not like a jobber, he's like a guy who they yeah. started building in like promo segments, but rather than like showing him do stuff to get over, Sami Zayn beat the crap out of him for most of the match, and yeah. then they cheated to win. Right. You know, so I think this is going to be the the Mike Kanellis does a lot of beating up on Sami Zayn match. All right. Plus it's Sami Zayn at a pay-per-view. Good Not point. a great track record. Good point. Um, how about the United States Championship? A AJ. AJ. Yeah, he's he he he's already kind of had an in-ring thing with with Cena. He's been pseudo challenged by Shinsuke, and he's decided that he's going to bring back the open challenge. Yeah, AJ's keeping. Which, and I mean, we saw a stellar match between him and Chad Gable, too. Absolutely. Which, if we get the, you know, if we get the open challenge again, you can almost assume Chad Gable's going to be one of those guys who's going to be hopping in line to have another shot at AJ Styles. Absolutely. You know, uh, which just, I love the idea of the open challenge coming back, which is why I'm also voting AJ. Uh, because we have, you know, that the open challenge premise, you know, because I'd love to see another one-on-one -on -one match between him and Chad. Or him and Luke Harper. Or him and... Fucking anybody. You know, yeah. AJ pulls out great matches out of even some shitty people. Yeah, there's there's a lot of great talent on SmackDown that this is going to be the perfect place to put them. I'd love to see him and Mike Bennett. Yeah. And the, and Ellis, the, I mean. And, the, and it's, it's going to be a guaranteed great match because it's AJ Styles. Yeah. So... Alrighty, we've got the tag titles on the line. It's the Usos defend against the New Day. New Day. Uh, the New Day, which I'm assuming is going to be Big E and Kofi Kingston, because I think Xavier Woods is on the shelf recovering from some sick burns. I don't know. From the rap battle. If you, if you think about it... I mean, Big E's the only one that hasn't had a singles match. Against so, the Usos, yeah. So maybe they're going to go with the smaller tandem of Woods and Kofi? I would like to see that because it's the least common pairing of New yeah. Day individuals. It's, Big E is usually always a staple in the matches. Yeah. Just because he's very conducive to the midnight hour. Yeah, which makes which is why I'm saying Big E. It's probably going to be Big E and Kofi. Just because you know how hard Vince sweats the big sweaty men, so and and Woods makes the good corner man because he makes all the noise and yeah. he's got the trombone and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, that makes sense. Who, who do you think is taking the title? I'm, going, I'm going with New Day. I New don't Day. necessarily think they're going to win the titles again, though. I think Usos might find another way to eat themselves a, out a, of the a match. Disqualification, perhaps. possibly. And then set up for a big blow off stipulation match at SummerSlam. Something if the if the Usos get themselves disqualified or counted out, they'll lose the belts or something. Or may, or make it the third you know the third member of New Day is barred from ringside and do like a false count anywhere type of scenario, street fight or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Usos pulling out a win on this one. A full on a full on retention? Yep. All right. They're going to retain all the belt. All the belt. Uh, we've got five ladies. Yeah. Uh, elimination match, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so expect this one to take a little time or to be disappointingly short. Uh, <laughs> Charlotte, way. Becky, Natalia, Tamina, and Lana. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit worried for Lana's sake. <laughs> because I think it might be a little early to throw her in one of these clusterfucky matches. Because these matches are hard. Yeah. Enough, these matches are hard enough to make coherent stories out of. Yeah. With like seasoned veterans, let yeah. alone yeah, there's people a... who are like essentially brand new. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on. You know, it's it's a match that never really stops. 
it's just it's a very move for move type of match. Um, I think that I think I, I think Lana's gonna be just fine because I think that they have found a way to keep her isolated but still involved by teaming her up with Tamina. Yeah. Which is why I think I this is just probably really wrong, but I think it would be cool. I'm gonna go with Tamina. I'm really surprised you're not going with Charlotte. I no. Because I know you've been punching really hard for the Charlotte Naomi rematch. Yeah, but then she lost to Becky Lynch on SmackDown, so but I mean that's that's the that's the false hope that Becky Lynch is gonna have the momentum going into the match, which usually means she's definitely not winning. But none of the other ladies wrestled. No. On SmackDown. No, I'm also I was just trying to talk you out of it because I'm also picking Tamina. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought I thought I was gonna be all alone. Yeah, I just I think I think she's gonna she has Lana as that wild card, and she's very dominant all on her own, and I think that if it comes down to the fact that it's just the two of them that Lana might lay down. And if not, if Lana gets eliminated, she's just going to come back out and help Tamina. Potentially. So, yeah, I, th- I think th- I think this is going to be a big moment for Tamina. Yeah, and it's, it'd be the really unexpected thing. The only reason why I feel way more torn on this is because I don't know if they feel like they can bank on Naomi versus Tamina being a SummerSlam-worthy championship match. I, I, I agree. And that, that was the one thing that kind of detracted me from it. But, I mean, to be completely honest, there hasn't really been all that great many moments for Naomi's title run. Yeah. So, uh, so you know what? Let's keep things interesting. I'm changing my pick to Charlotte Flair. All right. Be that way. Because I feel like WWE's going to want to be able to hype the shit out of that match for SummerSlam. That's a good call. I'll be real though, I'll be actually happier if Tamina wins. I'm sticking with Tamina. Uh, okay. Now, on to the match that everyone is going to remember. I mean, it's, there's, the stakes are just so high. I mean, we've been building... Every, every belt in WWE is on the line. We've been building this match since... Royal Rumble. Something like that. I mean, it's been a long time. Royal Rumble 2014. Wow, that long ago? Yeah. Before WrestleMania 30? Yeah. We just had WrestleMania 33. <laughs> yep. The flag match. Oh, boy. I'm spitting it out right now. Rusev wins. Yeah, I, I'm going Rusev also. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm excited. I like Rusev versus Cena. Yeah. But Cena trying to sell us on the fact that out of the entire card, the flag match is what we're going to remember... Uh, not so much. Yeah, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm hoping really, really hard that Rusev takes this one. Yeah. Because we need to get him back to being reestablished as a dominant villain. Yeah, and this, this, is his, this is his first pay-per-view match since being back on, back on the road. Yeah. Like he's only I think he's only had one match on SmackDown now. Yeah. So yeah, he need, he needs this way more than Cena does. Yeah, because Cena if, can go to whatever brand he wants. Yeah, especially if Cena's gonna play the free agent role. Uh what he needs to really do is bounce back and forth between the shows and start putting people over. Yeah. Making them seem like more legit players. Yeah. So I'm hoping Rusev takes this one. Uh, especially because of Cena, the whole, oh, I'm not, you know, with the whole hopes of America on my shoulders, I'm never going to falter. Yeah. It's okay, John, you can let us down. Because really, you're helping us out. You really are. Uh, last but not least. A match that no one's going to remember. <laughs> yeah, the least important match of the card, the the championship one. I don't, I don't understand how this is going to follow the flag match. Yeah, I, I mean, hopefully this goes on before the flag match. My God, we haven't seen one of these matches in ten years. Who yeah. even fucking cares anymore? Yeah, I mean, it's such <laughs> like a barbaric structure that most people are probably even going to look away most of the match. Yeah. It's the Punjabi prison match. It, it is a dauntingly tall 
yeah. structure, uh, and slightly barbaric, albeit with a very convoluted set of rules. That's uh, which is probably why they don't do a ton of them. And by that, I mean they, this is only the third one in history. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's also the accumulatively smallest amount of mass inside one Punjabi prison match. Yeah. And I think that also counts as if you include the Singh brothers as well. And like potentially the, the referee. Yeah, like the four of them together. All the referees, because there's actually multiple referees. Yeah. It take, you know, <clears throat> you, they've got to be there to open the different doors. Yeah, I, th I, th I, think, I think there's, in total, like, six referees? Because you have, like, I don't know, do you have one at each door? You know, I think that's what they're trying to make it look like, but I think they only have two. Okay, and then... I think they each pick, like, two sides. And then you're going to have at least two on the outside... Probably. ...for a potential, like, two people going up two different directions to see who touches the ground first. So there's at least four referees in this yeah. match. But regardless... I'm going Jinder Mahal. Really? Yeah. I never... In a million fucking years, thought that I would vote for Jinder Mahal to win two, count them, two WWE Championship matches on pay-per-views. Against Randy Orton. Against Randy Orton. But I'm doing it. Yeah. It makes sense. But I, I think going with Randy's promo on SmackDown and the fact that the Punjabi prison match on both other occasions have been the foil for the people bringing the Punjabi prison match in. Despite the fact that, you know, in the first one it was Big Show versus Undertaker, yeah. when it was supposed to be Kali... But Kali ended up getting hurt or something? Yeah, Kali was injured and couldn't get cleared in time to do it. And then in the second one was Kali versus Batista. But both times, you know, it was Kali's camp that lost the match. So now we have Jinder Mahal bringing it in uh, with the Singh brothers. Which and are, praising Great Kali for creating the match. Yeah, so that right there was the nail in the coffin for me that this match could very well be 15 minutes of Randy Orton essentially murdering Jinder Mahal on television. <laughs> so are you going with Randy I'm Orton? I'm going with Randy Orton on this Okay. Point. I was going to point this out last time. You went for Randy Orton and I won. Yeah, but yeah. 50-50 booking, bro. <laughs> All right, so we have a total of one, two, three, four, five differences. Yes, and we have settled on the stipulation, the bet going this time, that the loser will be blindfolded. And barefoot. And have to walk barefoot across the battleground. Yes. What will the battleground be? We're not quite sure, but we know it's going to be littered with terrible things. Yes, one item of terribleness per point you lose by. So potentially, it could be a strewn mess of five different shitty items. You ever seen Home Alone? That's what's going to happen. It's going to be fucking awful. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click all the links down in the description. There's a whole lot of links in the description. Post down in the comments who you think is going to win a battleground. Yeah, what are your predictions? Check out the podcast. That's one of the links. Check out Reasonable Wrestling Fans. It's reasonable to W. Like, like wrestling. wrestling. Where you'll be able to see that punishment video once it goes up. Plus, there should be a couple more popping up very, very soon that we'll be yeah. shooting. Nasty so, pizza. And fireballs. Yeah, in our so, mouths. So, look... <laughs> Look forward to all that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Fuck below me still. It's nasty. Alright.